Hello and welcome back to another local Warzone City Sponsor Free County YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make liveries on a Warzone City Sponsor Free County. Let's just hop into it. First things first, go to the PRC Discord server, click bulletin board, and then click custom livery templates. Once you click it, it will download a photo with every template for every um, vehicle in the game. Now with that, you can go ahead and open a photo editing software. Now the one I use is Google Drawings, but it might be comp complicated for some people, but I'm just going to show how to use it in this video. So first things first, you're going to want to uh, open the photo that all your liveries, uh, just that you, you're going to want to open the photo of all the templates. Once you are there, you can go ahead and click um, uh, whatever vehicle you want. For example, I'm just going to use the Dodge Charger. And if you were to click on the left one, let's say you want to edit the left side first, you're going to see the dimensions right there. Um, so now on Google Drawings, you're going to want to go to File, Paid Setup, Custom, Pixels, you're going to want to make it the same size as the um, template. So the Dodge Charger left is 1,498 by 376 pixels. Once you have that, you can go ahead and get your photo back over here. And you can either drag it or open it by clicking this image button in Google Drawings. I'm just going to drag it because it's easier. And then boom, it's copied and pasted into your um, into your Google Drawing. Now with this, you can go ahead and make um, the template the full size so you can edit on it. So now you can do whatever you want to edit. You can add, um, maybe you want a line. So I can add like a line going across the top. Maybe like uh, this goes down right here. You can make it a... Uh, maybe like a thick line make it blue if you want and the only um, the texture is only on the white so anything that's not on the white uh, it won't show up on the vehicle so you can add that you can maybe add some world art which is just um, text but looks better uh, you can say please maybe and now you have a police uh, you can make it whatever font you want let's say you just want it to be this and then if you want to edit like more in depth you can click format options and click size and then um, what you want to lock the aspect ratio so it doesn't mess it up and then you can change the width and stuff of all your text and shapes and you can change the angle right here so you can make it that way or you can just type in it like 360 if you want it like that or you can click this little knob on top to change it let's just make it like this how about zero yeah and you can click the paint bucket tool to make it uh, black if you want you can make it um, a gradient let's say you want it to be blue you can add a border to it like uh, if you want it to have a border or you can make it transparent and in the format options panel you can uh, add a shadow to the behind it or you can make a reflection if you want so there's really a lot you can do here and you can um, add images you can do you can add like a 911 in plain text on the back and a little text box you can really do a lot of stuff with google drawings but i understand that you might use a different photo editing software but let's just use this for now um if you want to i'm going to pull up something i made uh a few weeks ago just to show you so as you can see i already made a whole vehicle for the ford explorer as you can see, I have all the sides to it. So if I wanted to open um, the white side, you can see that it's 
already finished. Um, I have some lines going across. It's NYPD, obviously. It's really cool. Um, as you can see, these are lines. That's text. And I just kind of put it all together. So this one. So back to this one. Um, let's make this a little match a little more. Maybe make this a cool little text. Make it a little bigger. And add a shadow. And then now with this, you can name it if you want the file name. I'm just gonna name it uh, Police Livery Test. And make sure that you know the uh, side. And this is the left one side. And all the names are on the files. So as you can see, this is left. This is right. If there's multiple lefts and rights, you can call them left one and left right, uh, right one. And now, you don't want the template to be on the text or because all you want is the text or as the final project. So you can actually delete it. So all you have is the text or click file, download, PNG. And now it will download right there. And you can go ahead and press the back button if you want that back. So you can make edits in the future. So now you have the uh, template uh, text or saved on your computer. Now you can go to Roblox. So let's head on over there. Now on the Roblox website, you're going to want to click create decals choose file then you're gonna want to go to your downloads and go ahead and get your um the file that you saved it as which right here is please the we test one now it's probably in your download folder unless you have it set up differently then you can go ahead and put it in there by pressing open uh you can have the name whatever you want just make sure you know that it's left one or whatever side you're editing press upload now this is the hard part sometimes you either have to wait a long time or the decal doesn't really work so first thing first click on it or open it in a new tab and the, you see a number up here don't use it you don't want that number first things first you want you need to have BTR Roblox extension so as you can see, I have it right here. Um, it's on the Google Web Store. All you have to do is Google BTR Roblox and it'll be there. And it'll be on the Google Web Store. And once you have it, this image will show up whenever you go to a decal you uploaded. And click that little image icon. And now you have a different number. And this is called the asset asset ID, and you're gonna want to copy it, and then you're gonna want to join Roblox. And once you're in the game, you have to be the owner. You have to have the pass. You want to go to your server settings and uh, open the custom livery editor. Once that's open, select the team you want to upload it to. And I'm just going to do the River City Police. Go ahead and go to the vehicle you made it for. I made it for the Bullhorn Pablo for Sue. Oh, not that one. Uh, Prance or Pursuit, I meant. And you can go ahead and add new. And then you can copy and paste your asset ID into uh, whichever side it is. So this is left one. Boom. Now it's on your vehicle. You got police, you got 911. And you can do this for every side. I could.
do this all over again um, by going back I could make it I could do the white side now I could do the back side um, I could do all the sides and once you have all the sides you can name it uh, you can just call it test or something uh, you can change the coil behind it if you want to if you want the wet please call I guess you can maybe like a navy one I'm just gonna go with uh, black that seems pretty cool <laughs> maybe not a little gray how about that then all you have to do is submit it once you have all your IDs and by the way you don't need to have an ID if you don't want a top or some people only have the sides you can do whatever you want you can go ahead and submit it and boom as you can see this little time icon that means the mods have not approved it yet but once it gets approved you will either get a check mark or an X meaning it wasn't wasn't improved and as you can see this is a final one pretty cool as you can see all the IDs are copy and pasted in for the top the right the le left so that's all pretty cool I named it NYPD so that's pretty cool if you could make a nice one now sometimes it does glitch out like this it will show another level you even though you're not on it so you're just gonna have to back out click on it again and boom it works now once it does get approved all you have to do is uh, go to your vehicle spawner go to whatever vehicle you did it on open packages and it will be one of the packages and that is very nice as you can see I made a lot of these like this one like this one all it, all it is is packages and boom you have it all you have your custom livery uploaded now if you have any questions make sure to ask them I probably forgot something in this video but I think that is it for most of how to make a livery and just a reminder don't submit the livery until it's approved by Roblox which you can tell if it um, shows yep as you can see it's approved because it actually shows you delivery so that's pretty cool have any questions you can ask me if you want to see how I make more deliveries and not just a tutorial like maybe like a speed one I can do that just tell me in the comments hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe I'll see you in the next one